part two of our mouse and cheese wheel tape, please find part one in our description below. So here I've um, made up some brown fondant. I didn't mix it all in completely, I wanted different styles of brown so that there was a few squared a bit so it looked like a proper cheese ball rather than being it on a cake ball. So here you can see that I've used a ball, a ball tool. Um, this has a this is two um, balls, a big ball at the one end and a small at the other. And as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm just doing inserts into the brow, just to make it look more wood of a wooden effect and just to give it a little bit more character than just being on a standard brown ball. Here we have rolled some grey fondant into a tear shape to make the mouth. So here I took some more grey fondant and used the ball tool to make our mouth our mice's ears. So to create the eyes, I took some white and black balls of fondant and I just added a little bit of water and stuck them on to create the eyes. Taking a pink um, bit of fondant, I made a quick note for our little mouth. Use this to make as many mice heads and tails and mice as you want to go onto your cake.
Stick the mice and the mice heads to the cake. Use cocktail sticks to support heads. Um, you can use two or three cocktail sticks and water. Take some of your yellow or cream fondant and make a few little uh, cheese bits and nibbles just to go around the cake. So I've got the rolling pin, flattened out a bit of cheese, using a ball tool just to make a few indentations in this cheese and put it over the mouth to taste so it looked like it was stuck. So I hope you've liked our tutorial on our mouse and cheese wheel cake. Um, if you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can find us at uh, Cake Decorating with Danielle Facebook.